Hi guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to fix app could not be downloaded due to an error 497 on Google Play Store. So this error happens when you try to download or update an app on Google Play Store. Okay, so I am going to show you a couple of methods and you can try that out. And let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not. Okay, so method one we have is uh, you have to you know a disable Android device manage okay so in order to do that you have to you know go to the settings of your phone and uh, find here security so let me find that so here I have you know security just tap on it and then find you know device administrators so here we have just tap on it and you need to you know deactivate it if yours you know activated so i already you know deactivated mine so let me show you how you can you know deactivate it so let me activate it again as you can see it's now activated so just you know tap over here and then tap on deactivate and it will uh, deactivate your you know android device manage okay and after that you need to restart your phone and go to play store and try to download or update an app okay so try this you know method one and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay guys so uh, you tried you know this method one and it doesn't fix your issue then you can try this you know method two so method two we have is uh, you need to clear the cache and data of google play store google play services and also guys if you see google services framework and download manager then you have to clear their cache and data as well okay so uh, let me go to you know the settings of your phone in order to do this and let me go to apps or application manager so you just need to click on this apps or application manager and you need to swipe to the right to all tabs over here and find here google play store so let me find that so here i have google play store just tap on it and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok ok guys so it's now done just go back and uh, just tap on google play services and just tap on manage space and then tap on clear all data and then tap on ok and guys you need to go back and uh, find here you know google services framework and download manager if you have it so here i have google services framework just tap on it and uh, tap on clear data and then tap on ok and guys you need to go back and find here download manager so let me find that here i have download manager i'll just tap on it and tap on clear data and then tap on ok ok guys and after that you need to uninstall the updates of google play store ok so let me go back and find here google play store so here i have a google play store just tap on it and tap on uninstall updates and then tap on ok do you want to replace this app with the factory version yes tap on ok and you can see that it's uninstalling the updates and it's done okay guys so after that you need to go back and you need to remove your google account and re-add it again okay guys and if you have more than one google account associated then you have to remove every account okay so in order to do that you have to you know uh, go to the settings of your phone and find here accounts so let me find that so here i have accounts just tap on it and then tap on google and then tap on gmail tap on these three dots over here and then tap on remove account okay tap on remove account again as you can see it's now removed okay and and after that you need to you know add it again so let me you know tap on this add account and tap on google as you can see it's checking info just enter your email over here
and then tap on next. Enter your password and then tap on next. Accept the terms of service. As you can see, it's checking info. Uh, just tap over here and then tap on next. Set up payment info if you like, but I'm just selecting no thanks. And then tap on continue. And our Google account has been added. Okay guys, so and after that you need to reboot your phone, go to Play Store and try to download or update an app. Okay guys, so try this you know method too and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not. Okay guys, so you tried you know this method too and uh, it doesn't fix us your issue. Then you can try this method 3. Okay guys, so in method 3 we have you know this VPN method that is virtual private network. So uh, in step 1. Uh, you have to allow installation of apps from unknown sources so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and here you need to find here security so here i have security just tap on it and here you have this unknown sources allow installation of apps from unknown sources so i already enable it so let me show you how you can enable it just tap over here and then tap on it and it's now enabled and after that you need to open google.com on your you know phone you know on your browser and do a search for rocket vpn apk so and you need to download it and install it okay, so let me open uh, my browser i'm using google chrome you might have firefox and you need to go to you know google.com And in search box over here, you need to type this Rocket VPN APK. Okay. Okay, Rocket VPN APK, and just tap on search icon over here, and you need to scroll down. And here you can see this, you know, a Rocket VPN 1.8.2, the latest version. You just need to click on this. And here you can you know download the rocket VPN okay so you just need to scroll down and here you have this option download APK from secure server so you just need to download it and install it okay guys so and after you are done installing uh, you just need to open uh, you know open the app that is in you know, a rocket VPN app so let me show you I already have you know installed on my you know phone so here I have in you know, rocket VPN so you just need to open the app as you can see it's you know a destination is loading and once the destination is you know loaded you just need to select the country of your choice and connect it so you know you have you know so many countries over here so I just recommend you know use United States but you can try others as well connection request yes just tap on ok as you can see it's connecting to United States ok guys so as you can see that it's now you know connected ok and after that you need to open Google Play Store and try to download or update it ok guys so try this method 3 and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not ok guys so uh, suppose you tried this you know method 3 and it doesn't fix this your issue then you can you know try this method 4 ok guys ok so just let me disconnect it just tap on disconnect and then tap on disconnect over here as you can see it's now disconnecting and it's now disconnected ok guys so this is really very simple to use it you can do that very easily ok guys so you can try this you know method 4 and in method 4 you have to try to use another Wi-Fi or use mobile or cellular data 
okay guys so sometimes it could be due to isp issues uh, if you are using 2g 3g or 4g data packs and use wi-fi then you have to use wi-fi or if you are connected to the wi-fi then try to use another wi-fi network and try to install or update it okay guys so and also try to switch to mobile or cellular data if you are using wi-fi and try to download or update it okay guys so try this you know method 4 and uh, let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay guys so suppose you tried you know this method 4 and it doesn't fix a your issue uh, then you can try this you know method 5 so in uh, method 5 you have to reboot your device into the recovery mode and you have to wipe cache partition and from advanced you have to wipe Dalvik cache okay so ways to get into the recovery mode on Samsung I'm gonna tell you but if you have other phones then you have to try to find from your manufacturer how to get into the recovery mode they will give tutorial for that it's really very simple okay. so for samsung phones uh, you need to you know turn off the device and now press and hold the volume up power and home buttons until you see the samsung screen now release the power button but continue to press home and volume up until you are brought to the recovery mode and you need to you know press the volume down key several times to highlight wipe cache partition so let me show you uh, one image over here let me make it big okay so here you can see this volume up or down to move highlight power button to select so you just need to you know uh, press the volume down key several times to you know highlight wipe cache partition and just use the power button to select it and it will wipe the you know cache partition okay guys so and after that you need to wipe the you know the Dalvik cache and in this you need to you know press the volume down key several times to highlight advance so I have one image over here also you can check it out so let me make it you know big okay guys so here we have you know this you know image so uh, you have to you know press volume down key several times to highlight this advance and just use the power button key to select it okay and here you need to you know just highlight the wipe Dalvik cache and select using power button and just you know wipe the Dalvik cache okay guys so uh, and after you are done you know wiping cache partition and wiping Dalvik, Dalvik cache you just need to reboot your phone and go to play store and try to download or update an app okay guys so try all these you know methods and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not so and also let me know in the comment section so hope this tutorial helps thanks for watching this video and i will catch you in my another tutorials uh, bye bye take care